Rio Tinto Stadium in Sandy, Utah, where the lights feel just a little bit brighter. And the excitement just a little bit more palpable. Sky Blue and Chicago here on CBS Sports. Coombs said that McCall Zabroni brings such a sense of confidence and enjoyment of this game into her teammates. And she said she's been such an amazing addition to this team. Zabroni said the minute she walked onto the field with her new team this offseason, she could already sense the high level of talent this team had. And she's excited to help lead them towards meeting their full potential. And while some people may be shocked that Sky Blue has made it this far in the Challenge Cup, Zabroni said she's not surprised one bit. And in fact, she wasn't going to settle for anything less. So McCall's your bony in Sky Blue FC trying to reach the promised land of a final. Alyssa Nair stands in their way. The number one goalkeeper for the U.S. women's national team. On the opposite end, Kaylin Sheridan, Canadian goalkeeper whose potential and promise slowly becoming the reality of a great goalkeeper in the National Women's Soccer League. Colloquially, you could call this the Sam Kerr Derby. That would probably be frowned upon in some regions. Here we go, underway, semifinal number two, Sky Blue and Chicago, the sixth and the seventh seeds, both performing tremendous upsets in the quarterfinal, looking to reach the final Sunday on CBS. You and I spoke with Rory Dames a couple days ago, and it seemed but the frustration boiled over a little bit as Gorowski cuts back. And the cross early punched away by Sheridan. But you made four people miss on your way to goal. <laughs> she created that chance herself. Absolutely. St. George, nice cutback. Aims for the post and scores! St. George! A 2019 marred by injury. And in the semifinal, she's put Chicago ahead. But they're able to keep possession, allowing her to get into attack, her preferred position, instead of the right back. And they find her wide open. You can see Estelle Johnson's down on the ground, but it's that little cut there, and then the outside of her foot to bend it around Sheridan. That finds the back of the net. That right there, Bates Lewandowski able to separate herself, use Lewandowski's momentum to buy herself just a little bit more time. It looks like Sabrina Flores is going to be able to recover, but just in time. Haley Watt on an island, so very dangerous. Able to pull it through now. Watt tried to curl St. George. Able to lift this over. Falls kindly shot in Rachel Hill. Chicago doubles the lead. You see Kalea Watt splitting these two defenders. Kawasumi and Flores find some space. They cannot clear this ball. And it lands to Georges, puts in another dangerous ball, poor clearance, and then it falls right to Rachel Hill to be able to slot it and put it home past Kayla Sheridan. And right now, Sky Blue has to be able to regroup out of sorts. So Stella Johnson out of the game, Skrosky in. And they're not even able to build themselves into this game. After the second goal, who, of course, takes the lead, Lori? And that's what you're going to need. McCall Zaboni, her leadership in the midfield, just to get this team to settle down. Waldmo. Kawasumi. Kawasumi delivers. Tordanamanu falls kindly. Monahan hit the top of the bar. And then the offside flag was up. Really nice strike by Monaghan. Waldmo. On a dead sprint, Anamanu trying to get through. Nair colliding. Julie Ertz. The defense for Chicago. Zerboni delivers, enticing ball, Purse! Mitch Purse. Two goals in the first 11 minutes. Chicago trying to reach the championship game against Houston. Here comes Sky Blue trying to get one back. There's the ball across toward Flores. 
Waldner finds that space in front of the back line, and then it's Monaghan. She picks out the right runner. Sabrina Flores was going to be on the end of this, but well done by midfielder Di Bernardo to continue her run. The overlap from Purse. Gordon, the speed to burn. Flex sends it out, sends us to halftime. Two goals in about four minutes' time have separated Chicago from Sky Blue in this Challenge Cup semifinal. It was all 20 minutes for Chicago. The first 20 minutes, it was all Chicago putting Sky Blue under pressure, creating those chances, getting the two goals. Great start for St. George and Hill. Eighth minute, 11th minute, both their first goals for the Red Stars. And this semifinal has not phased Chicago in the least. Lori, if you're Chicago, how do you close this thing out? Make sure you continue to stay compact. Use your defense to help dictate your play and picking and choosing, choosing your times when you're going to press higher, but also collapse back into a low block and not allow Sky Blue to play through you. But you've got to continue to attack. You can't sit back the entire match and, and hope to keep this lead. Because with the likes of McCall Zavoni and some of the other players, like Sarah Waldno, the experienced players on this team, they're gonna push, no doubt, for a goal. The last time Sky Blue overcame a two-goal deficit was in 2017 at Boston. Down 2-0, finished 5-4 in stoppage time. Here comes McCaskill. Wingers on each side, Skrowski looking over her shoulder, ball ahead, St. George, McCaskill! Against her former team, three nothing Red Stars. Right here, Savannah McCaskill continues to drive, Skrowski doesn't step, it looks like it's gonna take St. George out of the play, but she does well to drop this back, Savannah McCaskill holds her run, McCaskill plays through Hill. Hill right into Sheridan, made herself big. Goralski. Cross here on the Manu. Eventually, you start getting the must haves at a point down three goals like this, and it's steered wide. I was going to think that Sky Blue would look to try to pick a short corner. Waldmo, header down, and it's in! A giant goal for Sky Blue. Evelyn Vianne looked to get the final touch right on the doorstep. The Sky Blue does well to keep this one alive. Guess who it is? But Carlos Devoni just knocks that one down. And it lands to the head of Vianne. No one picks her up. You can see Grolowski keeps her on side. Purse won't be denied. Purse slides in front. Oh, no! Off the birds. We've got a game late, 3 2. Puts that one in as an own goal. Midge Purse does well, recognizes the space she can win in behind Grolowski and just lays that across. Beats there, comes to the near post. And enough pace on that work to close out this game, manage the game, slow things up when needed. This is it. It's got to be here for Sky Blue or they're going home. Chicago holds this off and they're going to the championship game on Sunday on CBS against Houston. And there's the full-time whistle. Chicago hold on late after an impressive start. 3-2 over Sky Blue. They'll face Houston in the Challenge Cup Championship. And I don't think anybody expected this, Mike. Five goals in this game. Goals galore compared to what we've seen. A battle between two teams. Momentum shifts throughout the game. And really just a fantastic example of how far these programs have come throughout this tournament. Have 
really started trending in the right direction. In New Jersey, although they're going home, have to be incredibly proud of the performances they put out and the direction they're going as an organization. Chicago will take on Houston. Runners up a year ago.